You're sitting there thinking, how the heck do people get to have their podcast on Spotify? They even brag about it. My podcast is on Spotify. In this video, I will show you how you can submit your podcast to Spotify so you can too be on one of the biggest podcast platforms and brag about it as well. I'm also showing you the latest Spotify Swipe Pod podcast feature that works just like TikTok. And one very important thing you need to know so your podcast doesn't get removed from Spotify. Welcome to RSS.com the number one place to grow and monetize your podcast. We post videos about how to launch, promote, and monetize your podcast. So hit the subscribe button. Here's how to submit your podcast to Spotify. Once you have the audio files of your podcast episodes edited and with all the bells and whistles, the next step is to upload your podcast to a hosting site. You don't directly upload your podcast to Spotify. You will need a hosting site to store your episodes and to do the distribution of your podcast. Luckily, this step is super easy and you can do it for free in only a few minutes using RSS.com. First, let's create an account with RSS.com. You will be prompted to enter your email address and set your password. You can get started with this step for free with no credit card information needed. Once you have chosen a password, click get started for free. You'll get an email to validate your account with rss.com with a six digit code. And the next step is to click new podcast. This will take you to a new page where you'll enter your podcast title and description and upload your podcast cover art. You'll also be prompted to add additional information about your podcast. And finally, you can upload the audio files of your trailer and episodes. Now you're ready to set up the automatic distribution of your podcast to Spotify. All you have to do is click on the distribution tab on top of your dashboard and select this one button next to where it says automatically submit my show to all the podcast directories below. So now your podcast will automatically appear on Spotify, Amazon Music, and Samsung Podcasts. You only have to go through this process once. Once everything is set up, every time you upload a new episode, RSS.com will automatically distribute the episode to Spotify. Cool, right? Now let's take a look at all of the opportunities to just unlocked by submitting your podcast to Spotify. Along with Apple Podcasts, Spotify is one of the largest podcast directories in the world with 36 million podcast listeners and counting. Spotify also offers a user-friendly interface and robust recommendation algorithms. Spotify is always innovating and releasing new features so users can find new shows easily. For for example, Spotify just released a new feature allowing users to swipe vertically through show recommendations that play automatically very much like TikTok or Instagram Reels. The good thing is that users don't only get recommendations from podcasts they follow, they also get recommendations from podcasts in the same genre or similar content or audiences. But let's unravel what does this mean for you as a podcaster? It means that if your podcast is on Spotify, it will be recommended to people among those 36 million avid podcast listeners and you can get a piece of that delicious pie with fresh new listeners. Another perk about having your podcast on Spotify and other major platforms is that you'll give your listeners options to listen to your show from their platform of choice. The more accessible you can make your podcast on different platforms, the more you'll see your audience grow. And just like I promised, here's the number one rule you need to follow so you don't get in trouble. Before you start distributing your podcast, to Spotify or any other podcast platform, make sure that you're using sound bites and music you have the rights to use on your podcast. I know you want to get creative with your podcast branding and audio storytelling and use clips from famous singers or use mainstream songs to make your podcast more engaging and fun. And that's okay. Creativity is always encouraged. But before you use music or sound bites in your podcast, it is important that you get familiar with how copyright law works works. Because Spotify is also a music player, they are very strict in protecting the rights of musicians and the music that they create. If you think that you can get away with using a clip for only a few seconds, you won't because there are advanced AI technologies crawling content on the podcast directories searching for music that's not licensed and they will find you and your podcast. Bow, bow, bajisco, slappy, slappy, pinch. Even if your podcast is not making money yet, you will still be in violation of copyright laws and Spotify terms and conditions. 
Listen, the consequences of you using music on your podcast, you don't own the rights to range from your content being flagged on the platform and getting a not so friendly email from Spotify, all the way to worst case scenario, the removal of your episodes and podcasts from the platform and possible legal action and fines. Imagine. Spotify taking down your best performing podcast episode that have been listened to thousands of times because you were not aware of this or decided to ignore the rule. But don't worry, honey, your girl here wouldn't send you to figure out how to get music for your podcast on your own. There are many places where you can get royalty free music for your show. My two go to's are Pixabay and Free Music Archive. I'll leave the links in the description box below. If you don't like any of these free music services and you want to invest some money in music for your podcast you can check out audio jungle premium beat and envato elements also you can find talented artists on social media that you can commission to make custom music or even a jingle for you if you have any questions about the process of submitting your podcast to spotify or adding music to your podcast make sure you leave them in the comments below and if you need help with all of the details of starting a podcast i made a video just for you in this video i walk you through seven simple steps to launch a podcast that will get no but before you go watch it, subscribe. Give me validation. Like I go through a lot.